friends, welcome to my small baking studio today, the 29th of September 2020. My wife is at work and um, yeah, she has no time because she needs to work and I thought, okay, uh, why not to prepare a cake? So I would like to show you today how to bake a coffee cake. I don't know if you know about that, but uh, in the Philippines it's not so very common, I think so. But in Germany, yeah, and I can remember my mother, she baked a very nice coffee cake, coffee cake and it's so really easy to do. And I will show you step by step what kind of ingredients you need, how to do it. And if you like to know about the recipe, I will put the recipe instructions into my description of this video. And whenever you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask and I hope I can answer you uh, the question what you're wondering about, what you're concerned about. Let's get started. Actually, it does not take too long. The baking time is one hour at 160 degrees Celsius, but I will talk about this a little bit later. First of all, I'd like to show you what you need. Okay, I have the recipe here because I cannot keep everything in my mind. <laughs> Okay, it's a coffee cake. Yes, what you need for it is 150 grams of butter, pure butter, no margarine. Butter, we have Irish butter. Okay, then you need uh, 250 grams of sugar. As you can see, I prepared everything already because to not to waste some time. So 250 grams of white sugar. And then we have four eggs, but separated. Egg white and egg yolk. Okay, you have to separate that. You still need this for later on, this egg white. Then what do you think what we need for the cake? I mean, the name of the cake is coffee cake. So <laughs> it makes common sense that we need coffee. So this is 250 milliliter of coffee. But if you prepare the coffee, don't make it too weak. It needs to be a little bit strong because at the end you will put this in the dough. Yeah. And uh, I baked the cake before already, a coffee cake, and I noticed mm, it could be the coffee taste could or flavor could be a little bit stronger. So I made this a little bit stronger with three spoons and um, of course hot water and I filtered it as well because of the ground coffee. So, 250 milliliter of sugar. Then you need um, baking powder, baking soda. Okay, baking soda is um, 7.5 grams, what I put in here. So you can see here the kind of Irish baking soda. Yeah, 7.5 grams. Then you need one teaspoon of cinnamon. Yeah, what I put in here in this glass and I took it from here. Okay, I hope you can see a little bit, a little bit blending. So you know what cinnamon is. <laughs> okay, and what else you need? We need one tablespoon of cacao. Chocolate, cacao, instant normal cacao. Okay, and I got this from the Cadbury's chocolate cacao. Okay. So you need one tablespoon of this. And what do you think we, what we need for a cake? <laughs> of course, flour. So I prepared the 500 grams of half a kilo of plain flour. Oh, sorry, plain flour. Oh, you can see it here better, yeah? So, and there is, uh, of course, <laughs> as you can imagine, you need a cake form. I got this from my mother from Germany. It has a very, very funny name. I think you won't understand in German, Kugelhupf. And uh, this is Kugelhupf because uh, of the design. Yeah, maybe you can see that. And this is a spring form. You can open it here. Okay, and later on it's very easy to release the cake. 
yeah so let the puzzle now to put it together and leave it now but of course if you don't have a form like that you can also use a form like that but of course a little bit bigger than this one yeah because it does not fit for 500 grams of a dog okay what else we need we need a mixer we need a mixer okay and let's get started hello guys yeah if you like to know the whole procedure how to bake a coffee cake so please try to watch until the end because otherwise maybe you miss a few details and then the result will not be so good okay stay tuned yeah friends so i prepared everything here as you can see it's a little bit hard to film alone you know this is um, sad but uh, i have to try to handle this somehow to uh, to show you this everything in a proper way you know so the thing is you have to mix everything um, you have to put everything into uh, flour to mix everything and uh, the butter at the moment is a little bit hard so this is a little bit hard to mix then you know and i will show you what you can do yeah, of course, in the Philippines, you maybe you don't have a problem with the <laughs> hard butter. But when you have a ref, it's also hard. So it doesn't matter. Okay, now you can put it into the microwave for a moment. That is a little bit liquid. It's much more easy to um, mix everything together, you know. But I think not too long. Only to, to make it a little bit uh, soft and... Uh, Hello friends, now we are going to start now to bake our coffee cake. Yeah, it might be it's getting a little bit loud because of this mixer. Yeah, and um, then this is how it looks now with a little bit melted butter. Actually, there is no special procedure in what you have to put, uh, what you have to add first to the dough, to the flour, I mean. And uh, I just started, you know, you have to mix everything anyway. And um, okay, let's start with the butter. Oh, I need a, I need a tool. So this is very useful when you have something like that because you can get out everything you know on the bowl. I think that um, will look very messy later on. Okay, so butter sugar 250 grams of sugar four egg yolk baking powder baking soda 7.5 grams cinnamon one teaspoon Chocolate, uh, one tablespoon. <laughs> Everything together except oh yeah, of course, and the coffee, <laughs> the most important, <laughs> the coffee, two hundred two hundred fifty milliliter of coffee. So, the only thing which is very important, the only thing what you don't do is. To put the egg white inside because later on you need that i will show you what to do with that okay yes friends yeah of course you can put some raisins into the dough additional maybe not too much or hazelnut pieces yeah or kind of chocolate pieces i just yeah forgot to put it inside but it's a possibility to put in um to add some chocolate flakes you know or here but maybe this is only for a sandwich i don't know what my wife bought here and chocolate pieces inside <laughs> i saw i never saw this before except poor Uta, irish yeah this is what you can do and then the taste um in general the the the, uh, the feeling of eating the cake the cake is much more interesting because you bite on something <laughs> okay i just wanted to tell you now, it might be getting a little bit loud, but uh, I hope it's okay for you. I can make some music or, I don't know, <laughs> and of course not working. Let's see. It should. The plug is inside. 
Ah, yeah. Okay. I don't spin it up too fast, otherwise everything is flying around and... <laughs> I know it's okay, a little bit better. So as you can see I put everything inside without any procedure what you have to follow which product first. Oh look at this. <laughs> Put this a little bit from the side, everything down. This is what I love to do because you know, if then you put everything inside, you don't keep it at the at the side, you know. And of course, later on when everything is very smooth, you also can taste it. You know, I mean, there's no problem. There's not poison. <laughs> so it must be very soft. This is this the highest? Yeah, it looks very smooth already. It looks like a um, mocha. Okay. okay, friends, I cleaned up a little bit here. Yeah, I mixed the dough. And I show you what is the next step to do. You can do this normally later as well, but I do it now. I show you what to do in order to bake the cake. Yeah. So you have to just get a little bit butter. Yeah, like a good piece of butter. And then you need to fatten the form. I just make it like this. First like this a little bit. At the side as well, of course, or in the middle, no, outside, yeah. So, I fatten this in, of course I can use my finger as well when they clean, hopefully. Okay, just very roughly, but it's much better because, you know why? Because when the cake is ready cooked uh, cooked you know why because when the cake is ready yeah you get it out of the oven and then when you open the spring form it is very easy to get out the, the, the cake you know and that's why and also in here of course it's a little messy to clean this later on after baking time but it's better because it's easy to get out the cake later on. Just fatten inside. Okay, this is enough. I don't know where I should put the butter now. Uh, ah, doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so now you have to put this back. I don't know if you can see it. A little bit far away. Maybe I'll adjust the camera a little bit. Uh, okay, here is the, uh, you know, this piece here. I just need to flip in here. I hope I can catch it. Mm, nope, not so easy. Okay, yeah, it's closed everywhere. So I fattened everything. Yeah, so I'll show you the next step, which is with. Uh, it's a problem when you film your own, you have nobody to hold the camera except the tripod. <laughs> so, what, oh, I mess up everything here. So now you have the egg white, you put it into a bigger bowl. Messy. I don't like when it's so messy. And everything clean already. Same like uh, with this one here. I clean this up now. 
and now I have to produce egg snow. Yay! It is done pretty quick. Actually. Not too strong. And I will show you what is the purpose of that in a minute. Okay, so what we do now is this one, the dove, and we put this underneath the dove, the egg white. You know why? Because this makes the cake fluffy, very soft. That is the purpose for that. first on the top maybe I learned this by the way from my mother <laughs> but uh, actually it's very easy to do when you follow the recipe instructions you know so what you do is now you need to um, oh, I don't know the English word for that but you need to shovel the egg white underneath the dog yeah, something like that. Not to really mix it. Not really mixing it, but um, you know, you can see what I'm doing. Like from left to from the bottom to the top. And I mix it, of course, yeah, but um, not, to, not to mix like that, you know what I mean. So with this, uh, but this looks good. And then uh, of course I can taste it a little bit. And uh, I hope it's not tasting horrible. <laughs> but I've done everything right with the dosages of the different ingredients. So it should be fine. So we now we have um, 5.40 in the afternoon, 5.40, I don't have so much time anymore. So very soon it's 6 o'clock, 6, 6 p.m. And a uh, uh, quarter to 8, I have to pick up my wife from work. And then she is off two days and we will film again a little bit. I don't know what to do, I don't know yet. But um, we will find something to show you. Maybe another jelly pudding? <laughs> Okay, so I think this is enough, and as you can see, uh, it looks like that. Like a new one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, no doubt about that. So, very simple, of course. What do you think? What you're doing? They put it in here. Yeah? <laughs> so, this is a lot of fun because need three hands normally to hold the form. Maybe I put this underneath so it's not slippery around, you know. Okay. And then yeah, I just put it in here. Oh it's okay. I can do it.
Oh, this looks nice. I don't know if you can see that. Oop. Yeah, this is difficult. Oh, yeah. Looks nice. So I have to get out everything now, of course, from the bowl. So it looks good already. Okay. This looks good. <laughs> so actually I don't need to adjust something because it's floating around. I mean, it is okay. The level is okay from all the sides almost. Anyway, it's growing because of the baking powder, baking soda. I hope. <laughs> Not to waste too much time. So I think it's okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's it. Now, what I'm going to, mm, it's really good aftertaste, mm, I love it. Um, what I'm going to do now is I will um, preheat the oven and I put it to 160 degrees Celsius, yeah? And then I let it bake for around one hour, okay? So I will do this now. So this oven is with a fan. F, I put it to the fan position. This is the timer, and this is the temperature, so I put it on 160 something, doesn't matter. Uh, it's in the middle of 170, yeah. So I put it into the middle, and I have to open here. Of course the power, this is the iris star, you have to open the power. So, I'm not sure if you have to preheat it, to be honest. I think I put it inside. It's not meant to be, we have to preheat everything. So this is how it looks like and let's see it in one hour. Talk to you later guys. Yeah, I'm now waiting for the cake. I can see something already, it's a little bit growing, but of course it takes a while. Yeah, so it takes a while and uh, you need to be careful. So now what you can do, I will show this to you a little bit later, um, to see if the cake is ready already, okay? So we have kind of, no, my wife, she does not have it here in the wood drawer. It's a kind of wooden sticks, yeah? And you put it in, you stick it into the cake when you don't know if it's ready or not, you know? And whenever you pull it out and it's sticky, then you still need to leave it inside. Only when you stick inside and you get it out and it is dry, then the cake is ready to get out of the oven. <laughs> okay, yeah, once in a while, I don't know, during waiting now, once in a while we are um, filming a little bit about food and uh, how to prepare different things, you know. By the way, I also have to, um, maybe you saw the uh, presentation how to prepare jelly pudding, yeah. and. Maybe the next episode will be about uh, producing a jelly uh, pudding with fruit juice without this instant powder. I can show you a way how to do it. I'm not sure if in the Philippines you can buy this kind of, um, I have to move a little bit here, this kind of um, gelatin um, leaves. Oh, okay, this is powder. This is powder. This is what I don't like so much. So I like more this from Germany, which is, um, these are a kind of leaves. I don't like to open this now because it's still closed, yeah? These are kind of leaves. There are seven, no, 12, 12 leaves inside. And it looks like plastic, you know, you can make it like this. Yeah? And it's uh, transparent. It looks like plastic. And then you put it, uh, you add some water here and you put, lay it inside and let it float. Yeah, cold water, a little bit warm, um, and then um, it dissolves it, it will get very soft, and then 
will get it out and you get out the water. <laughs> and I shall show you the next time how to do this. Very nice, so you don't need to this kind of instant uh, putting. You don't need this kind of instant, so when you don't have it available, but you have the gelatin. Yeah, you need either either this one or the gelatin. You know, otherwise you cannot do it. Yeah, but this uh, I think this is something I will show you next time. Okay, talk to you later when this body here is ready to get out. <laughs> See you later. Hello, friends. Yeah, I want to have a look for the cake now because um, it's. Not yet time, but before I checked a little bit and I think it is ready to get out. So let's have a look. So what I told you before, it is good to have a stick like that. A wooden stick, okay? So now it's a little bit difficult because I'm filming alone and um, I have to check. <laughs> I have to check the cake to stick inside to see if it's gluey or not. When it's dry, then I can get it out. But depends sometimes it's really for example the recipe says uh, the cake must be baked uh, must be bacon my English is so bad uh, for one hour but you need to have a look all the time yeah because um, you, sometimes you cannot trust because it depends of the oven the fan the temperature the location so better to have an eye on it yeah so I will check this now I hope I can film it so friends it's Time to get out the cake. Yeah, I turn it off. I turn off the switch here. Everything off. So let's have a look. So of course it's hot, yeah? So what I told you before is you can use this kind of wooden stick to stick it inside and to see if it's sticky or not. And it's pretty dry. So which means the cake is ready to get out. And what I also like, I like the color. The color is not too dark, not too bright. So I will get it out here. Oh, 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 oh. yes, it is. It is hot. So you see, mm. <laughs> my cake, my coffee cake. I need to be careful because I have the camera in my hand. So I put it first here. So, look at this. <laughs> now, the only thing is now, I have to turn this around. Yeah? And I have to transfer this to this one here. This is very good for a cake plate because um, the air is going through, you know, and it's not getting wet. Uh, at the bottom of the cake. So I have to put away the camera now because I cannot do it with one hand only. Yeah So what I have done now I turned it uh, I turned around the form Yeah, and the thing is that the cake must go down All right, so I cannot really remember if my mother told me to open the spring form or not Hmm, this is a big question now, and I think I have to call her. Okay, I just called my mother and I asked her what to do exactly, okay? She told me to turn around again the cake and then to stick with a knife. I'll show you. No, no, I need this one. You take a knife like that. And uh, what you do is, it's very hard to film with one hand only. What you do is you go around like that. Actually, it is loose already, okay? But also in the middle, of course. I'm doing that in a moment. It is, actually, it is okay. Yeah, but just to loosen this a little bit, you know? Okay, that you can release the cake from the form. Okay, what I need to do now, what she told me, it's, just, it's not so hot anymore. You take this one again, put it here, uh, which way, this way, there. on the top and you turn it around again. I have to put the camera inside because I cannot do it. Maybe I can do it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> okay, what you do is now, you turn, 
it's not, uh, it's still a little bit hot. So you turn it around again, okay. And then you open the form here. Careful. Yeah, it is loose already, you see, because of the butter before. And is it bigger than the top? This is good. And then you have to release this one. And this can be a little bit problem. Mm. Because you have to be careful. Because you like to keep the design of the, the cake, yeah? Yeah, but it's losing because of the butter. You see, this is the reason why you have to fatten the form. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know if this is still hot or uh, still a little bit. Don't like to be sick tomorrow and cannot touch my keyboard at work. <laughs> Whoa, yes. It's not 100% perfect, but actually, I like it. You know, it's my own cake. So, this is my own baked coffee cake. I'm not sure if it's a little bit too light. Could be a little bit more brown, but I'm not complaining too much. So you see the design here. This is really nice. This is the Google Hopf design. Now, what my mother told me, you need to take a kind of um, wet, a little bit wet uh, towel. So now I transferred the cake to the table. As my mother told me, you need to put a towel onto the cake. Something like that. Because it's going down and it keeps keeps the, the, the flavor more inside. This is what she told me. So my mother is very experienced in baking cakes, believe me. So I have to make this a little bit wet now. The towel, but not too wet, of course. So I have the wet towel now here, and I just put it on the top. It's not the best towel now, but it doesn't matter, yeah. So it's. I hope it's not too wet, but uh, that's it. Yes. Hello friends, yes, now it is time to taste my own baked coffee cake. Normally it's a little bit too early, maybe the cake is still hot, but I like to check what is the taste. So what I have here now, I get away uh, the towel and here we have the cake with a wonderful nice design. Could be a little bit more brown, a little bit darker. But let's see how it works. Oh, I have to adjust the camera a little bit now. Okay. Now, I only cut a little piece. Just to test. Okay, and here it is. It is still warm, very warm, as you can see. And okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, perfect. I like it. Could be a little bit more stronger with the coffee taste. Mm. but the consistency is perfect so when this is getting cold and this is wonderful for the breakfast with the coffee you know or milk it is really mm, I love it very fluffy so I think I'm happy with the result next time I do it a little bit longer that the cake is getting a little bit more brown golden brown okay so I hope you enjoyed my baking day today and uh, if you like to get the recipe 
just check in the description i put the recipe into the description below and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and the next time maybe i'm baking a cheesecake or something like that something interesting yeah so thank you very much for watching and uh, thanks for your time and stay safe yeah bye bye bernie